I got to make it longer. Insert innuendo here. Hey, Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on the Adjust Audio Remix using Power Director 16 and Audio Director 8. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that this effect is worth purchasing Audio Director. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. A while back, my home skillet, Joe Morano, left me a message on YouTube that said, Hi Malik. Is there a way to make an audio track last the duration of a video, even if the video is longer than the audio clip? Peter McKinnon did a tutorial for Premiere Pro, but I was wondering if it's possible in PowerDirector. Well, Joe, it isn't possible with PowerDirector alone, but it is possible with PowerDirector and AudioDirector 8. If you're interested in getting AudioDirector 8, I will have a link to it in the video description in case you decide to pick it up. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission that helps me create more videos just like this for you, but you will pay the same price just as if you went directly to the site to purchase it. So if you want to, support the channel and use the link. Let's stretch out some musical melodies, shall we? As you can see in the timeline, I have two clips. The video clip in track one is longer than the audio clip in track two, and I want the audio to last the same duration or be longer than the video. Now, what most people would usually do is split out a segment of the audio clip where they can match up the beat, copy that split segment, and keep adding it until the music is long enough to play over the entire length of the video. But not me. That's not how Malik gets down. I'm gonna let Audio Director 8 do all the heavy lifting for me. First, I need to know the duration of the video clip or the duration of the movie on the timeline in order to make the adjustments to the audio clip so that it is the same length or longer. So if I hover over the clip, I can see that the duration is 3 minutes, 40 seconds, and 15 frames. Now, if I click on movie, and then I click on the end key on my keyboard, it places my playhead at the end of my entire timeline. And then here, under the preview window, I see that the duration where the playhead is at at the end of the timeline is 3 minutes, 40 seconds, and 15 frames. Now that I know the duration, I need to keep note of that somewhere so I can use that in Audio Director 8 and make my audio match that same length. So what I'm gonna do is left click on the audio clip. And then I'm gonna go to Edit Audio. And I'm gonna click on Audio Director. Now once Audio Director 8 is open, I'm gonna go up here to the Mix tab. Then I'm going to come here to the audio file. I'm going to hold down my left mouse over the audio file name. And then I'm going to drag this into track one and make sure that it's at the beginning. When this playhead turns white, you know that it's at the beginning. And I'm going to let go of my left mouse. So now we see that the audio is here. and We see that the audio is about three minutes. Next thing I'm going to do is come here under the adjustment section. And I'm going to click on adjust audio. And then I'm going to go down to Adjust Length Auto Remix. So when I click on that, Audio Director is going to analyze the audio to see where are the best places to split things, split clips, 
ad segments, things like that. So now that that's done, I'm gonna come back here and under the adjust length auto remix, we have some settings that we can change. And I'm gonna click on the cog here for the advanced settings, just to show you what those are and explain those to you. Of course, you have the option to stretch the to the exact duration, which is what you want in most cases to be the exact duration that you select up here. Then you have your segments. So you can have long segments or short segments. So most people wanna have long segments and then other split clips into small segments. So leave it on long if you want that. If not, you can change the segment size. And then you have max slack. So max slack is actually the speed of the remix. So what that means is it will slow down the song based on the amount of slack that you add to it. And that makes it able to make the song even longer and have less splits and things like that in it. And then underneath here, you have your preview setting. You can preview the adjusted result or preview the original audio. So I'm gonna come back up here to new audio length. And we know from what I did in Power Director that we need it to be at least three minutes, 40 seconds and 15 frames. So I'm gonna make it three minutes and 41 seconds. A little bit longer than what I need, but that's fine. And so now you see that it automatically added these white lines here. These are segments that it added in to make the duration longer. It might be kind of hard to see it with the color of the waveform, but there's little white lines here. And these are segments that it's adding to make the duration longer. And if I move over here, you can see that now the duration is three minutes and 40 seconds. So if I want to, I can listen to some segments here to see how it sounds over the splits. Now, if I were you, I would listen to the whole thing and make sure that it sounds good and sounds how you want it. But hey, I'm just doing a tutorial, so I'm not gonna listen to the whole thing. But what I will do is now that it's how I want it, it's the right segment, right length, I'm gonna click on apply. And now it has applied the changes to the clip. So I need to click on back to send it back in to PowerDirector. So I'm gonna click back. And there's a message here from Audio Director telling me that the modifications are gonna be saved to that file. Um, and what it does is it creates an additional file. It doesn't change the original file, but it will change on your timeline in PowerDirector to the new version of the clip that you just created. So I'm gonna click on yes. It sends me back in the power director. And now you can see that the length of the audio clip is the same as the length of the video clip. So no need for you to manually cut, split, and all of that mess to get your audio to match the duration of your timeline or the duration of your video clips. Audio director, Got your back, baby. All right, Power Director peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Photo Hysteria. Photo Hysteria makes YouTube videos about photography while he's living in his RV, people. Okay? So if you want to see some cross country beautiful photography from a man with a plan and an RV, Go over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Photo Hysteria did, head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you're looking to do a tutorial request, head over to our video description and fill out the tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.